you know, this, this actual video could save you some money because there's some things that keep the camera manufacturers up at night. What's up guys, let's talk cameras, camera settings. You know, I've gotten a lot of questions about camera settings, camera, like the custom settings in these cameras. It doesn't matter, R10, Canon 90D, the P1000, the Canon point and shoots. And I'm like curious to myself, like what is going on? Is this like a pattern in my channel? And then I thought about it for a while and it's like, okay. But before we get into that, I want to say that this channel, this, this actual video could save you some money because there's some things that keep the camera manufacturers up at night. Some worries, actually one word repeated three times and me getting these questions about the, the custom settings took me off for a little bit because I didn't really know how to answer them because it's complicated. And I think, you know, reflecting back, I started laughing like, oh. You're reading the comments a little closer. I just got my camera. I just started photography. This is where I'm at. And you sit there and you're kind of like, okay, let's walk you down this story of what's happened to me. And hopefully you'll be able to relate. And some of the things going forward is controversial within the photography world, or I should say with the manufacturers of the equipment and what I would say, professional photographers. So that being said, back in 2003, 2002, when I got my first digital DSLR, it had, you know, modes, custom modes you can get your camera into. Lo and behold, guess what happens? You know, out doing some wildlife photography and I, I take off, you know, you're shooting, you look at your exposure, everything's great. Things are, you know, yeah, yeah, I nailed it. And then you look at the back of the LCD and all of a sudden you see that you, that the mode was in black and white, a custom mode you selected and forgot to switch back. And this happened time and time again. It was a custom mode that got bumped while I was doing some photography and I didn't chimp, I didn't look back at the LCD screen. And so it's those things, it's the subtle things, like maybe the sharpening that you kick way up. Time and time again, I noticed these modes and these enhancements that the camera manufacturers put into the cameras was not helping me as much as it was advertised. Yeah. And so looking at this, it took quite a few years, but after educating myself, looking at, you know, paying for subscription services to Carl Taylor and, and Joel Grimes, looking at the work of Jack Spencer and his videos, he would say this again and again, simplify, simplify, simplify. Not going very well, simplify. It's just a good rule of thumb across the board. I don't care if you're a plumber or a housewife or what it is you do, it's simplify, always simplify. And, and whenever you do that, things have a way of falling into place. Literally, the thing that keeps the canyon manufacturers up at night is you realize that you don't need 90% of the things in the camera. It's the exposure triangle that you really got to worry about and how your camera at the base settings work. So this is a camera that Galen Rao would use. He suggested a Nikon EM, one of the simplest, smallest cameras he used in his extreme hiking adventures. That being said, 50 millimeter pancake lens, he used a 35 and a 25 for a majority of his work. And he would talk about how he needed things extremely simple. There's no modes on this. It's literally just the shutter speeds and the exposure. And that's it, creating great work. So again, I guess the, the premise or I would put forth is the way I shoot is probably a lot of way, many of the ways these guys work, Ralph Gibson and that, you have one setting. And that being said, you work off that setting. For me, it's, it's simply like an ISO 200, 400, 800, F5.6, one two hundredth of a second and you modify your exposure triangle. You want something super bright, go five stops over, go four stops over, start playing with it. But always go back to your base in your camera and just set it back. See, there's this, this, this common work between your hand, your camera, and your brain. It's constantly going. What I found in a lot of people is what they'll do is they'll set to a different mode and turn their brain off because they think that they have it solved and they don't want to switch that special custom mode. Oh, this is the way it is. This is what I need. But 
The thing is, with a lot of photography, you constantly have to adjust your exposure. You constantly have to do something to make it unique. You have your vision. You want to put that vision out through your hands, adjusting it, and the camera feels great, and you get your shot, and then you go back to zero. You go back to base. So there is really no custom settings. You are literally the custom setting. It's a difference. It's becoming like one with your camera. I don't know how to explain it any clearer, but the thing with people wanting all these custom settings to do the job for them kind of becomes meaningless. And so that's the situation. Guys like Ralph Gibson, yeah, probably two or three lenses, black and white only. Michael Kenna, a couple different camera systems, black and white, ISO probably 200 to 3200 or something. Very simple, but it's so powerful. And so that's the thing with the current photography. After the megapixel race kind of lost steam at 24, 32 megapixels, what else do they have to give you? Doodads, things to make your camera feel like it just doesn't work good enough. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna sell cameras, you gotta, you gotta make things obsolete. You gotta make people want the next better thing. You gotta make them feel like they can't be a great photographer with the old gear. That's just the way it works until you become wise to the game and you can take out a junky camera like this and create great photographs or a little point and shoot. You can create great photographs or a cell phone. It doesn't matter, it's all part of this. But once you know the game of what these manufacturers are playing on new guys coming into the industry, it's over for them. I wanna see them succeed, I wanna see them make money but I don't like to see them make money at excessive money at the expense of taking advantage of people. And so there you have it guys. Get one setting, know it well, know your camera, adjust up and down and make photographs. You guys got comments, questions, write it down below, hit that subscribe and I'll see you next week.